I just smoked up a nice whole pack of brisket and I'm going to show you over the next couple of videos what I do with leftover brisket. Now, I know you think there's no such thing as leftover brisket, but just in that rare instance there is, let me show you what we can do with it. We're going to start with a fantastic brisket melt, brisket grilled cheese, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing. All right, I'm going to lay down some fat that I trimmed off some slices just a few minutes ago when I cubed up some uh, brisket for this video and that's just going to be the oil and the fat that I need to saute some onions in and I'll do some more here shortly to actually do the brisket to reheat that before we put these sandwiches together. All right I think I got enough lubricant down on there to where we can go ahead and get our onions. I'm just going to move this fat off to the side here. Now these onions I sliced up earlier and I also salted the onions to extract moisture from them, out of them, and that's going to burn off real quick, but that'll help in caramelizing these onions and getting them to brown up a lot faster or a lot better. All right, these onions or about where I like them, just a little light brown, nice and tender. We're just going to slide them off over here to the cool side. I've got a hot burner all the way up. I got this one set medium to low and this one all the way off to where I've got more control over this griddle. Go ahead on with our brisket. So all we're wanting to do is rewarm this brisket. Of course, it's fully cooked. Just going to bring it up, warm it up not going to take long. Oh boy, that smells good. Man, I smell that smoke. We got sourdough bread. I just took some just salted butter and put a thin layer right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just set that to the side for a minute. Now I've got two slices of a white American cheese. This come out of your deli section. It's not the processed stuff in the individual wrappers made by certain companies. This is a whole lot better American cheese and it's got real good meltability. So two pieces going down. I've got brisket going on top of that. All right now some of these caramelized onions on top of this. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Now I've got two slices of a young Gouda. If you use an aged Gouda, it doesn't melt that well, but the young Gouda melts extremely well. So Gouda. Now you can use whatever cheese you like. You can go with a Swiss, you can go with Brie, whatever, whatever you like. Now I want to go ahead and put this top on here just like so. And we're going to take some jalapenos that I sliced very, very thin and just kind of press them into this butter. And of course, this is optional. So we're just going to pull a little butter right here in the middle. Right in here is where we're going to be cooking. It's a little too hot over here. You don't want to cook this too fast. It'll brown your toast or your bread too fast and uh, kind of mess you up that way. So we take this sandwich and very quickly go straight down, just like this. So you want to get some butter and go ahead and spread that on your opposite side. You do want to get your butter softened to where it spreads easily. So we're just gonna take, and take a peek at this every now and then and that's looking good. It's not browning too fast, matter of fact, I'm gonna probably move it over just a touch. All right, now right before we flip this, I wanna take some of this. This is an aged sharp cheddar. And this is actually made by Kerrygold. I see a lot of people using the Kerrygold butter on videos. And I've used it, and I think it's all grass-fed beef. Well, they also make a cheese. 
Just gonna kind of plop that in there, press it in, that way it just don't fall out. Let's give this a flip and see how we look. Let's flip this over. Oh man, look at that. That is all your caramelized cheese. I don't know about you, but I love that crispy, crusty cheese that does exactly that. You know this is gonna be killer. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. This is nothing like the grilled cheese sandwiches you were raised up on, just the cheese between white bread and butter. Those are good. We still eat them, matter of fact. But if you really wanna kick it up, whenever you make a brisket or if you come back from a barbecue place and order brisket, got some leftovers, Give these grilled cheese a try, man. It's fantastic, incredible flavor. So good, just that melty cheese, the smokiness from that brisket shining through. And the onion really complements the beef as well. Everything about it totally works. I love that little layer of crispy cheese on the bottom side. Little bit of spice from the jalapenos, but nothing much. You really can't even detect them other than the flavor. There's really no heat there whatsoever. I hope y'all give it a try. I'm Russ Jones with Smokey Riz Barbecue.